Hi everyone, Mrs. Norris here, and I have another big book on our unit about forces in motion. And this book is all about motion. Motion is when you're moving. So it looks like this person is flying, but they're just doing a jump on a jet ski. Ah, oh, kids, don't try that at home. Here we go. Volleyball, a dog shaking water off, and a wave. Hmm. wonder what they have to do with motion. And here's a surfer. We've got words to think about in coming up, an introduction, four chapters, and a conclusion. So think about what all these pictures say about motion. There's some more pictures to think about and some words to think about. Direction. The direction of a moving pinwheel is around and around. Fast. An airplane and a jet ski are fast ways to travel. And motion. When birds fly, the birds are in motion. Here's a word we might hear in this book, position. The position of the chair is on the sand. So position would be where it is, its location and how it's facing. Slow. A kayak and hot air balloons are slow ways to travel. Speed. A bicycle rider moves at a faster speed than a walker. So speed, of course, is how fast you're going. Here's our introduction. A plane passes overhead. A kite soars in the sky. Waves crash on the beach. A pelican dives into the water. All of these objects are in motion. Motion is when something's moving. You can describe the motion of objects. This book will show you how. At the beach and all around you, objects are in motion. Chapter one, what is position? Every object has a position. A position is a place where you can find an object. The position of the kite is above the beach. The position of the flying disc is in the little girl's hand. Oh, is in the girl's hand. She's not so little. If an object changes its position, then the object is moving. You can describe motion by telling how an object's position changes. You know this boat has moved because the boat is in a different position compared to the pier. So you can look at the boat here and where the pier is and see how now that's changed. So the, it's in a different position. Chapter two, what is speed? Speed is how fast or slow an object moves from one position to another. This turtle moves at a slow speed. Did you know that sea turtles swim faster than they walk? You can describe motion by telling an object's speed. Many objects change their speed as they move. This motorboat moves at a fast speed. Chapter three, what is direction? Direction is the path an object follows as it moves. You can describe motion by telling an object's direction. Up and down, those are directions, up and down are directions. A curved line might be the direction a boat is taking. Or a zigzag, this crab is moving in a zigzag. That's the direction it's moving in. Objects can move in many different directions. What directions can you see on these pages? 
example, this airplane is moving in a straight line. This Ferris wheel is moving around and around. And the swings are moving back and forth. So those are all examples of directions that objects can move in. Chapter four, how does motion change? An object's motion does not stay the same. An object can start moving, speed up, slow down, and stop. An object can also change direction. These boats are changing direction as they move. Pushing or pulling can change an object's motion. Pulling changes the motion of the rope. So here's another tug of war contest happening. So here's something to figure out, figure it out. What are some ways that your body's motion changes when you play tag with friends? Do you change speed? Do you change direction? What ways does your body's motion change? And here's our conclusion. Objects are in motion all around you. You can describe motion by telling how objects change position over time. You can describe the speed and direction of moving objects. The motion of objects can change. So describing motion, you can talk about its position, its speed, and its direction. Our book has a glossary, and then it has some fun fish facts that I want to share with you. Did you know that fish move? They have motion? Sure. Question, what is the fastest fish? The answer is the sailfish can swim more than 60 miles an hour. This speed is as fast as a car on a highway. Question, what is the slowest fish? The tiny seahorse takes nearly an hour to swim just five feet. The seahorse holds its body upright as it swims. So the fastest is the sailfish. The slowest is a seahorse. We're probably somewhere in between when we swim. What are some fish that can swim backwards? Well, the answer is only a few fish can swim backwards, such as electric eels. There's an electric eel. And moray eels, a moray eel. These eels move their flat bodies in waves or ripples. This motion allows the eels to swim forward and backward. Now it's your turn. What are some different ways that you can move? When you move, when do you move fast? And when do you move slow? When do you move backward? Have fun moving today and thinking about moving. I will see you soon.